Chasing the stars will stride into the dark Never back down till the battle is won They see foe with hearts brave and true Unafraid of the unknown Because I'll face it all with you Hello, I'm the Review Reviewer. You review it, I review you. This is my partner, Mr. It. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the theme snark video, Mayhem of the Minions. Okay, according to Google, that says, When we begin and rubbish our sins. Me, 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 me. You know, Disney's California Adventure had a rough start. Okay, I'll roll with you. And why in a video about Universal Studios Hollywood am I talking about DCA? Uh. Cinematic parallels? There were significant additions made between the late 80s and early 90s which resulted in this ad campaign. The new Universal Studios Hollywood, if you haven't been lately, you haven't been. E.T. Hey, it's the California fans when Mummy was being built. But with this newfangled Universal Evolution plan, it warranted the necessity for... If you haven't seen Universal Studios Hollywood lately, you won't believe it. What Hollywood won't reboot these days. Actually, I sincerely doubt they were going for a conceit that clever. Where is Termite Eater? Wrong resort, and also gone. Of course, there's one development since 2012 that we have to acknowledge. Power! The gate's open! Hustle in! Okay, other than explaining that disclaimer at the beginning, I don't see why that needed to be addressed. Fun to point out, but still. Sleeping Beauty Castle. Spaceship Earth. The Tree of Life. What, no sorcerer hat or water tower for Disney Hollywood Studios? Here you'll find a couple of quick service eateries, a water play area, the occasional movie promo. I have no idea if that was an actual living person, and that concerns me. There also used to be a parade dance party thing that was pretty fun, but they discontinued it around 2016 due to budget cuts. SpongeBob's legs are cursed. Me, 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 Right, sorry. It's a building and it looks pretty. Sort of like another park's newly built central icon. Gee, it's almost as if two places that pay homage to the same era of Hollywood are gonna look similar. Speaking of welcome changes, Waterworld is still here. It is not dead yet. It's been over 20 years. It is not dead yet. And it still brings in the cheers. It is not dead yet. I know it has been said. It's a miracle the show is somehow not yet dead. More than 20 years later, it's still an adrenaline rush from beginning to end and had far surpassed the source material in ways most other Universal attractions haven't. To be fair, surpassing the movie is not difficult. And I can't be the only one who thinks it's disturbing that they sell minion popcorn buckets where you eat right out of their skull, all while their eyes still move. I don't see the issue. But then again, maybe I'm just desensitized from drinking these things' brains out. Also, and this point is typically overlooked, but the minions are... Oh, how do I put this? Freaking villains! To be fair, Hollywood is proving that watching villains be villains is entertaining. Now, could they have made it more like the movie and built a wild mouse coaster instead? No. No, they couldn't. This area already sits on top of a parking structure, and you want to put more undue stress on this foundation? Great, now I can't walk through that area without being irrationally scared for my safety. Do not put on the goggles until you are told to do so, but this could happen. Oh, thank you. God, I didn't think anyone was going to teach me how to use these things. I mean, I've only had to wear about three different variations of 3D glasses before getting to this ride, but not one of them taught me how to use them. Okay, one, this could very well be the first 3D attraction guest visit, that day or in general. Two, literally every other 3D attraction tells you not to put the glasses on before you're told to do so. Now, we have created this 3D immersive experience, so you're going to have to have your glasses ready. Don't put them on yet. Do not wear your glasses until you are seated, unless you might fall in over. Hell, that's something that's not even unique to Universal! I forgot. Just a little reminder to everyone, please don't put on your opera glasses until you are seated inside the concert hall. Thank you. Second, do not attempt to walk. 
while wearing your 3D glasses, you may trip, and frankly, <gasps> you will want to... What are you doing? I'm just showing how you can trip if you walk with your glasses on. Oh, are you? What? I don't know what you're talking about. No, no, no I'm pretty sure I saw actual tears. <laughs> For this? No. You like this ride. Considering that the last retrospective ended with... I want to go again. Can we go again? Please can we go again? But it's so fluffy! I think it's safe to say he does. Really? Thinking about Star Trek again. I mean, Star Trek is an evergreen property. What is this supposed to be if not a house? A lab? Well, it's not that dissimilar to Gru's lab. The only real notable difference is that in the movie, it's miles underground. This is where we test your strength, speed, and ability to not die. Running while sitting. Me, 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 me. Why do you think we need a personal trainer? So yeah, it's great that kids have an experience here they can enjoy. As long as they can physically experience it. This is something I'm all too familiar with. Oh, that's why we needed to make that clear. Sorry, little Jimmy, you're gonna have to go on the hypocrite ride again. How do they keep allowing me in here? You're a paying customer. Their rides tend to be on the thrilling end of the spectrum. Also, big. Don't get me wrong, the rides that are here aren't bad. They're honestly some of my favorites. But it wouldn't hurt them to think a little smaller. I find it funny that you mentioned that because the new Secret Life of Pets ride was actually going to be a much bigger project than it ended up being. So, yeah, they took your advice. But speaking as an adult who likes this ride, it could be worse. <sighs> Oops. Great place to end it. Anyway, this video is great. A lot of fun commentary mixed in with the continued history of the park. I do kind of disagree with Charlie's opinions on what Minion Mayhem's shortcomings are, but then again, I don't really mind suspending my disbelief that far. Though it is a fair assessment that the ride should have done more to make that suspension unnecessary. Overall, check it out. I'm a review reviewer. You review it, I review you. Dig 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 and I'm mine the whole day through. Do dig 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 is what I like to do. Hmm? Whoa! This gem is huge! Imagine the things I can make with this! Okay, I'm gonna need some help with this. Ladies, it. Thank you for agreeing to join in on this little expotition of ours. Um, I think you mean... Me, 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 me. Anyway, according to Future Key Bearer, the mountain here may or may not be haunted. Haunted? Hmm, now you have intrigued us. Calm down, we don't know exactly what's in there. Could be ghosts, could be something harmless, could even be harmless ghosts. But that's why we're going in, to find out. To cover more ground, we're going to be splitting up into two teams. Lucina and It, you two will take the lower path, while Mistis Pamela and I take the upper path. Me, 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 me. What? <sighs> yes, Keybearer said something about a huge gem being in the mountain, but that's not our objective. If anything, finding it will be a bonus. Come on, Mr. It. We shall find that gemstone and leave these slackers in the dust. It's not a competition! Hell, I said we're not even... Ugh, never mind. You two ready? Yes, sir. You got it.